Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 2 and in this video we're going to start slicing the images in the PSD. Alright then guys, so as you can see I've got this PSD open that we downloaded in Photoshop and what I'm going to do is just start slicing the images that we need. So the slice tool is right here, right? I just want to select this one right here and then I'm just going to start going around the different images we're going to use. So that is going to be the logo, I'm just going to call it logo right there. And I just double click that by the way to do that. Uh, the next thing is going to be the banner, this thing right here. Call that banner. Um, then we're going to use this thing as an image right here. I could do this in CSS, but for the sake of this playlist, I'm going to use it as an image. So I'll just grab that right there. That'll do. And I'll call that, I don't know, uh, menu head. Uh, zoom back out. Then I want to come down here, we can do all this in CSS. Um, let's have a look. These stars, let's grab these stars. In fact, we'll just grab one. I've done that correctly, let's have a look. That's a little bit off. That will do. And um, we'll call that star. Zoom out again. What else have we got? This gallery right here, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to switch that off. I'm not going to make it for this tutorial series because the whole idea of this, guys, is to show you how to create um, a WordPress theme. You know, I'm not going to go into any kind of cool jQuery things with a gallery or anything like that. That's for later tutorial series. This is all about WordPress. And to be honest, we don't need that thing right here. This thing here, these little images right here, we will grab because these are going to be the links to the different blog posts that we do. So we'll have like a different blog post for each recipe or whatever. So let's just call this thumb one. I'm gonna do the same for this. What dimensions are they? 230, I'll call that by 200. I'm just gonna make them all the same size. It makes it a little bit easier later on when we're kind of styling this up. So 230 by 200, that'll do. Um, thumb two, then thumb three. 230 by 200, yep, thumb 3, and then finally thumb 4, 230 by 200, alright, cool, and I think there's one more image we need to do, which is down here in the footer, it's just this logo right here, because the top one was black, this one is white, so we'll just call this white logo, like that. Make sure I've got it all in within that box. Okay, it's cut a little bit off. That should do, just like that. I'll just check the top one as well. Yep, I've cut that off a little bit as well. So I'm going to get the slice select tool just so I can get that one and make it correct. Just like that. Perfect. All right, then. So that is all the images I think that we need. Let's just have one more check. We've got the logo at the top, we've got the banner, we've got this little thing right here, uh, we've got all of these four images, we've got a star, and we've got this logo right down at the bottom. The rest we can do in CSS, which is really cool. So what I'm gonna do now is just go to File, and then Save for Web and Devices. Now, what I tend to normally do is select each individual image and choose whether it's gonna be a PNG or a JPEG. Now, this one right here, um, is going to be a PNG because it's like just two colors. So I'm going to say PNG 8 and that should reduce the file size down here. If this was a, a JPEG, let's have a look. You see it's 2.8 and now we're reducing it to 1.2. So it's just going to reduce the loading times and I know it's not by much but if you do this on every um, kind of image that you have then it does add up. This next one I'm going to leave as a JPEG because it's kind of like a photo. That's a kind of rule of thumb I use. If it's a photo, then I'll leave it as a JPEG. If it's a logo or something with just a few flat colors, I'll use a PNG. I am going to, however, change this from maximum to probably like high, something like that, because there's not much difference in quality, but it does, again, reduce the file size. All right, so next one, the menu. I'll change this to PNG again. That will do. And then what we've got, we've got these images down here. So each one of these, I'll just make high in quality, just to reduce the file sizes. And you can see it's not really reducing the quality of the images that much, but it does reduce the the uh, you know the the file size again. Then we've got the star, 
um, I'll use a PNG for that and then finally we've got this logo right down at the bottom which is going to be a PNG again and hey presto we're done so all we need to do now is say save and then I'm just saving this on my desktop all you want to do is come down here and say slices all user slices and that's just going to save out the slices that you've done if you don't do that then it's going to save out a lot of other slices that Photoshop deems necessary to save as well which are completely useless do that if you wish I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click save now and that's going to save all of my slices on the desktop so I'll just take a look at that it's going to create a folder called images and then we've got all those images right there. So we're going to use these in a the theme. All right then, so that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is start creating the HTML for this design. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in that very next lesson.